Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to Moving Pictures. Decepticon Doug here, and we are having a look. Um, basically gonna unbox Clock Tower. I just figured since uh, I'm gonna be covering this on the Repro Review Show, it'd be kind of cool to have a look at what's going on in here. This is from Flashback Entertainment, so uh, I have unboxed one of their games before. This is not a complete unbox version that I decided to get. I don't normally go for complete unbox uh, stuff, but I felt that um, I don't know. I was just kind of taken by it. So I think it was also on sale at the time. So that, that helps as well. So what you may or may not know about Clock Tower is that it is, it is a game for the Super Nintendo, or rather it's for the Super Famicom and never made its way over to North America, or rather it never made it officially. So this is a reproduction cartridge with a fan translation of this classic survival horror game. So let's have a look at what's inside. Here is Clock Tower. Um, so nice quality box. Um, let's have a, let's give it a look. Okay. Okay. Very cool. So, let's have a look at the manual. Okay, so yes, here we go. Basically, there's a little flashback saying, hey, we did do this has reviewed this product and has met our standards. So that's great. So you get to look at the characters. Um, you know the, oh, hello, look who's here. It's Rosa being where she shouldn't be. Bobby Burroughs, oh, there's the bad guy. Um, how to play the game, starting game. Actually very, uh, very lengthy instructions. This is pretty good. I always like a really good solid instruction manual. It, it feels great. It looks great. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on a second. No eating my instructions. <laughs> According to Rosa, it tastes great. So, uh, oh, even it even has a little bit of a comic book inside. So, I don't know uh, how much of that was in the original manual. I, I suspect. I mean, I, I don't think this is an, an original piece from Flashback. But, nevertheless, including it in here is a, an excellent choice. So yeah, that's, um, that actually uh, is a real big seller for me. That's amazing. I wholly approve of this. Now Flashback always comes, they always send their stuff with posters, little posters. And I, you know, I'd love to hang them up, but I never know what to do with them because I don't have the wall space. Oh, well, actually, hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. Earthbound Uncut. They, that's just an advertising basically for another game they have, which is Earthbound, but like a more direct translation from Japan rather than anything that is was cut for the North American audience. So that's cool. And there's another one. Uh, of course, and one that is relevant to the game itself. Clock Tower. That's uh, a nice little piece. I like it. Cool. Not as extravagant as other posters I've gotten from Flashback before, but that's okay. It's all well, really that's all I need. And the last thing is of course the cartridge. I got uh, I was able to customize the color for it. It is uh, all black or maybe a dark steel kind of thing, but uh, very a little bit more something a little more ominous that I wanted. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's again uh, you know the typical Flashback quality. So it's nice and sturdy. Looks, feels good. Um, I think it's awesome. There you have it. I know some flashback games have come with like stickers and stuff like that. I don't see uh, any of that stuff in here, but that's okay. I honestly really don't need any trading cards or stickers. This package is all I really need for the games. Uh, even the uh, Earthbound Uncut thing, I don't feel like I really needed. But hey, I guess if I was a huge Earthbound enthusiast, that might be pretty cool, but um, I just actually haven't played Earthbound, so that's on me. Anyway, that's everything, so thank you so much for watching my little unboxing video for the Clock Tower uh, on Super Nintendo.